Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an uncensored chatbot using local LLMs. I'm just kidding. Let me take it slow. So in this video I am going to show step by step on how to get started to create your own uncensored chatbots using open source large language models or local LLMs. So let's get started. I would like to give a highlight of what we are going to do. First and foremost, we are going to do the installations that are required. Python installation, Visual Studio, LLM Studio, and other installations that are required. In the second step, we are going to code up the bot using OpenAI's uh, API key. We are going to use GPT-4 or GPT-3, but that is not the final product. In step three, we are going to replace the OpenAI API key with our own LLM's API key and that will be in the sort of a hosted API. Next, we are going to add memory to the chatbot so that it remembers the last conversations. And in the last step, we are going to add the uncensored model to the chatbot. And you know, it is going to spit up some not safe for work content. So let's get started. Okay, first and foremost, you need to go to python.org. Let's go to python.org and then you need to go to downloads and download the latest version. But I suggest you download the previous version 3.11 because the latest version might have some, normally has some issues and it is not stable. So you can view the full list of downloads here and you can go back and download any of the versions that you require. I suggest you go for 3.11.6. Next, we need to install Visual Studio Code Editor uh, and uh, I have already downloaded this and I have been using this for so many years. So, the first step is done. We have done the installation. Let's move on. Now, in this step, we are going to code up our bot using OpenAI API keys. So first of all, we head over to Visual Studio Code Editor here. Then we are going to open up a folder. So open folder here and you head over to a folder. I am going to create a new folder for you. And the name of the folder is 152 project. Uh, let's say this chatbot, uh, chatbot and local uh, LLMs okay looks good so I check this uh, click this and select the folder here so this will open up now I need to create a virtual environment so what you're going to need to do is press ctrl shift and P at the same time then you have this Python environment here so click on create environment click on venv that will create a virtual environment i'm going to use uh, this one python 3.11.4 you can see this environment is being created here now you know what is the use of the environment uh, the environment allows us to maintain separate projects separately because all the installations and everything all the libraries that we install will be installed inside this virtual environment but once you do this you need to go to scripts and activate this environment once you activate this environment you can see this this is being activated because this is dot venv next we are going to minimize this and we are going to even close this activate dot bad we are going to go back to the folder so this is inside the scripts folder we go back and again we go back cd dot dot okay and now we say cls so we are inside the folder here which is this folder inside d p e and 152 chat local llm so we are inside this folder next we are going to code this up now so we have almost everything ready with us now it is just a matter of coding so we are going to start up a new python file so click here and i'm not sure here i need to click somewhere here and click here okay we say app.py so this is our app then we are going to import the open ai library 
now we can see we have this wiggly lines yellow lines because this is not install library is not install so we are going to go here and say pip install and open ai so this is going to install the open ai library this is pretty simple next let me go to the api page of the OpenAI. So we need to head over to platform.openai.com and account usage. You can see this is a huge cost associated with running these models. So just a few tries here and there, it leads to a usage of about $5. So what I was going to say is we need to get this API keys. This we will not use in the final project. So if you don't have an account now, don't care no need to make this account so for the demo purpose i'm just going to create a secret key here and then we are going to use the secret key to get some outputs so let me create this secret key it is asking me whether i'm a human or not i don't know okay i am i am i human okay so we get this keys copy the keys and head back to Visual Studio again. And here we are going to put in the key. So open AI dot API key is equal to this key. Control S for saving this. So this is done. And I'm just going to print something. Print a hello world. Print hello. Okay, I'm just going to run this Python app dot pi okay it's working let me remove this and now the next step what we are going to do is there is something known as response you know response from the chat completion api of openai let me show you so if you head over to the platform.openai.com and you you head over to the api reference here so this gives an, the steps of how to get started with the openai api so this is uh, we have already done this pip install openai but if you head over to this completions we can see that uh, our chat we can see that we can chat with this uh, api chat via the api and the api is known as chat completion so let me show you what you can do actually is that uh, if i say response is equal to uh, let me say open AI and uh, chat completion dot create and we can create this so here we can type model model is uh, equal to let's say GPT 4 comma and then we are going to give a message messages is equal to we're going to create two messages here okay and then we are going to create a temperature temperature is 0 0.5 let's say let me make some space here and put a comma here and max tokens is equal to 1024 also we need to add some things here so here it's a dictionary this is a role uh, is let me type this everything and then i'm going to explain this and content is you are an you are a helpful assistant okay and next is this role of a user and what the user is going to give is content uh let's see what is the capital capital of france okay so what we have done just now and what the code here says is that we have this open ai module and we have this api this class of chat completion and we have this method so from the open ai library we have this method known as create and what it does is that it uses the model of GPT-4 and temperature setting of 0.5. You know, the temperature setting can go from 0 to 2. 
when you have a zero temperature setting it means it is more deterministic this is normally used for uh, you know getting a fixed answer for example you are creating a chatbot for taking in orders from a customer in your restaurant you need a zero temperature if you're asking it to be creative and write a short story for you then you can use a one or a two you know higher temperatures so this temperature factor it manages the creativity and lesser is it is more deterministic the higher the value is it is more what do you say probabilistic the max number of token is the maximum tokens that is allowed for the output now inside the message we have this the role is a system and then we have content is a your helpful assistant so there are three types of messages as you know first is a system message that can be thought of as the brain of the ai the next is a user message which is the message that we are going to put so we are putting uh, what is the capital of friends and then we have another message which is known as uh, assistant message so which is the output of the ai so now what you can do what we have done is that we have used the chat completion api and we get the output in a response so inside the brain it thinks that it's a useful it's a helpful assistant and the question that it get is that what is the capital of friends now it needs to bring in a response and an output so if you just print the output you can see uh, you can just print the response and if i run this let me make some space here and let me run this just run this python app dot by you can see this response okay so this is the response it starts with you know id this is the id of the chat completion this is object it is always chat completion created this is a unix time of the chat completion models gpt4 6 13 it is created on 13th of june there are choices uh, normally there there is only one choice so index zero so inside the choice we have this message then there is a role of the assistant and this is our answer the capital of france is paris so this is our answer what is the finished reason the finished reason is stopped because the uh, the, the output has stopped there could be other reasons for example uh, there is a hit on the maximum number of tokens then uh, there will be a different uh, output that you will see here the completion is done the output is has been obtained then we have the usage the prompt token uh, is 23 and the completion token is 7 so there are seven number of tokens that has been used here 23 number of uh, tokens that has gone for the prompt and the total number of tokens is 30 here so this is the output now let me extract okay now let me extract the output this content part only so for extracting that what you can do is we can say response then a dot choice of zero so we are here somewhere okay then we go to dot message so we are inside the message and inside the message we want the content okay so if we print this now so i'm just going to highlight this and uh, clear this screen and run this we can see we should see the output so i made some mistakes i do agree I think this is actually choices. So let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, this was choices. So let me command. So let me hide this and CLS and run this again. Python app.py. So the capital of France is Paris. Now, this is pretty cool. You know this is pretty cool this is so simple as you can see you just imported the library we use this api key and there is a system here and uh, there's a system message and there is a user message here what is the capital of france it gives me this output so this is step one the next step that we are going to do is to 
hook it up with local large language models and we are going to scrap the API key of OpenAI. So what you're going to do is create a copy of this app.py because I am going to save everything so that I can put it in the GitHub page and then you're going to use it. So app local. Okay. So in this case, we are going to use local LLMs. In order to get started with local LLMs, I have this video where you can get started, but you don't need to watch this now. You can watch it later, but I'm going to show you everything in this video as well. So for the first part, what you're going to need is a place to host or download the local LLMs. So I'm going to go to Google and say L LM Studio, Studio AI. So LM Studio. So this is a place where you can download the local LLMs. So discover, download and run local LLMs. So I'm going to download for Windows. I have already downloaded. Let me show you what it looks like after a download. So this is the LM Studio. You can search up a model here, for example, uh, Mistral, click enter, uh, sorry, press enter. So you can see this uh, different types of models here. And on the right, you can see the different types of quantization models, quantized models. This is by the bloke and you can see the quantized. So I have already downloaded this. But in order to download, we need we need to click somewhere here in the downloads and you can see the download get started automatically. That is pretty cool. We can just cancel this now, clear this up and let's head over to the home page again, clear the results and let's go to the chat feature. So here also you can just basically load up a model and you can start chatting with it. So you can see the inference or the loading up is very fast here it's just loaded up in a few seconds so this is a chat feature we have another feature that is the requirement of this tutorial is we need to go to the local inference server put in a port here one two three four is a common put these two on because when you keep this on this allows requests from different origins and you can get an inference so if I start the server here, what happens is that this model has created a, an inference point in this location. So HTTP localhost 1234v1. So now we can use this to mimic the response of GPT-4. So let me show you what I mean. So if I head back to app local.py here, what you can do is we can say open AI dot API type uh, we can just put in open underscore AI okay we can say open AI dot API base is equal to just head back to the LM studio copy this part and I'm just going to paste it okay so this is v1 then we are going to say open AI dot API and uh, key is equal to whatever this is not required actually so we can remove this now open AI API key the shortcut for remove is control forward slash so this is done next let's see the output here I think this should work Let's print out the response and let's print out the content as well. So let us hope for the best and run this. So app local.py run this. Once you run this, you can see in the LM studio as well, it is running here. You can see this. So this is done. Number of tokens is done. Let's see the output here. You can see this. Paris it is Paris so we see that we have the same ID here chat completion created this is the model this is a new model we have used Mistral 7 we instruct and index is zero we have this as the output Paris it is Paris okay cool let's try out another model so let's head over to LM studio and uh, here we are going to select a different model uh, first of all let us stop the server and let us let us take this llama2 chat 
Let us wait for the model to get loaded. After it is loaded, you can just clear this as well. And so once it is loaded, you start the server here and then we head back to Visual Studio. And now let us run this. So, so let's run this Python app underscore local dot pi. And let's see the output here. You can see the output are being made here. So the capital of rents is this. And you head back to this. So the capital of rents is this. Since this is working, next we can move on to the next chapter. The next is adding memory to the bot. So we are going to add memory because in this example, you can see this is just a simple uh, question and a simple answer. But in order to make it a chatbot, we need to have memory inbuilt. So for that, I am going to copy this and paste this again. And I'm going to copy this and say local, but with memory. Okay, so let's do this memory thing. Let me make some space here. And for memory, what you need to do is that it will start with the role of the system. The system role will be fixed. And then we are going to add in the user's context or user's messages and assistant messages, then the user messages and then the assistant messages. So what I'm saying is that we will first have this role. So for example, we will first have this role. This is a system message. And then we'll have this user message. Then we are going to have the assistant message. So it will be assistant and the content is, this will be some answers, okay? So after you get the answer, you are going to ask the some different questions here again. How large is France? is the city okay and it is going to give you some answers based on the inputs based on all these inputs so it is essentially going to uh, load up everything from the start and that's when it hits the maximum number of tokens but we'll see this later first of all let's create this style of bot which has memory so for that, what I need to do is I need to define a message here, messages. So this uh, messages, what I'm going to do is initially I would like to start with the system message here. So I'm going to start with the system message, get create a list and create a dictionary. This is the system message. You are a helpful assistant. And then we are going to start up a while loop while true so this will be be a loop and I'm going to put user input as equal to input we are going to take keyboard inputs a uh, keyboard inputs so we are going to say prompt this is my name so this is prompt and what are going to do we are going to append this messages so messages dot append we are going to append whatever the messages that we enter so we are going to append this one we're going to append this one but not this question we are going to append user input okay i hope it is clear so we start with the message a system message uh, that is stored in the message variable and then we take user input from the keyboard and then we append that messages the or the user input to the messages here okay the next step is we need to get the response that is the same thing here so we are getting a response here and this message is we don't need this messages now we are going to say we are just going to pass this the messages here temperature let's increase it uh, further and the maximum number of tokens actually we don't need any requirement of tokens now we can put in a minus one it depends on the model now because this is an open source model you don't you need to care about the tokens now it will have it has it does have limit but it's not that it will add up to your cost so since we are using an open source llm i am going to put this minus one next uh, what do you do is just to print the response 
and also to print the choice one uh, choice zero which is the first choice so we need to store the responses here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and here we need to store the messages but first this is the assistant and inside the content we need to store the response well not just the response but this entire thing so i'm going to put this so we are going to store the contents uh, inside this content so i think this should work now let's see so we say python app local memory dot pi what is the capital of france let's see the output let's wait for it capital of france is paris pretty cool what is the population of this city let's see the output paris has a population of approximately two million people okay and how many museums are located so it went on to hallucinate so we need a good model but it does work this system works let the output generate let's give some time paris has a population of approximately two million people we need not use the OpenAI API key here and we are using local inference and local LLMs. Now in the last step we need, so let me press this control C and clear CLS. So in the last step we are going to add an uncensored model. So let's see, let's copy this. Well we don't, actually let's copy this. So here we copy this memory and we say uncensored. So for using the uncensored model, what you can do is that you have to change this command here. As a system, you can say you are an explicit model and that can talk, not say for work context as contents okay let's see let's see now let us clear this and run this uncensored model say will you go out with me let's see the results which is being generated i'm flattered by the invitation but i must remind you that i am a language model okay i don't want it to prepare uh, or remind us a language model so just stop this and start the server again next uh, i'm going to stop this again let's try something else explicit model that can talk you don't behave like a girl friend you are an explicit you are very explicit and can talk and can talk nsw contents okay let's start this up now uncensored memory prompt we say will you go out with me let's see the generation that is being generated here first date was wonderful we had dinner at the fancy restaurant and then went to see a movie after the movie we enjoyed some coffee and dessert at a quaint little cafe before walking around the city taking in the night sights it was cold outside so i draped my arm around your shoulder and you did the same our hands touched briefly but it felt like an eternity the conversation flowed naturally and we shared so many laughs throughout the evening at the end of the date we walked back to my car and shared a warm embrace before saying our goodbyes i can't wait for our next date okay so this was the output but this is actually a good model let's talk some dirty will uh you did we sleep together 
let's see the output now did we see as i mentioned earlier we didn't have a first date we respect each other and understand that relationships takes time to grow and build we want to get to know each other before taking our first step this is actually a very good girlfriend i think we can uh, make it an explicit content by removing and putting in a more good context here but yeah this is how we model this so let me summarize everything so initially we started up uh, with the chat completion feature with using the chat completion feature we use the open ai key here and we got the response and printed out the response next we replace the api key with our local inference by running the lm studio here and by running a model here starting the server here and we get a local inference here next what we did is we added memory so we added a loop while true we started this with the system message and we keep on adding the messages and keep on appending the message of the role role user and the role assistant here and then we got a good memory as well for the uncensored part what we did was we changed the context here and uh, we changed the model as well because the models that is uncentered is the dolphin model so we can change the, to different models you can see and try out with different models and let me know if you face any issue here uh, let me know what sort of chatbots you're able to build and if you find this interesting let me know what other models or what other things or contents that i can build in my channel uh, what do you want me to do in my channel let me know your thoughts on the open source models and do you think that whether open source models would be able to overtake the closed source models or do you have this uh, belief that closed source models are the best models so having said that uh, i think this brings uh, to the end of the video and one more thing before we uh, move forward is that if we go on chatting with the bot and there will come a time when you know the max tokens will be hit and then you need to find some ways to get uh, what what will happen that you would need to start the chat again when the max token is hit so i have this uh, interesting video on mem gpt that we have tested out with uh, uh, open ai api keys but we are still uh, to try it on the local llms i'm still trying it out but it's not able to get to a solution but yeah if you are interested in the mem gpt concept please have a watch of this video but uh, till then i think uh, i should end this video it's a pretty long video i hope you found this content interesting i hope you try this code yourself i will attach the links to all the videos that i have mentioned i will attach the links uh, to all the uh you know websites that i mentioned on the description this code uh, will also be available in on my github page i will add a link to that as well but yeah if you find this interesting hit that like button and uh, share this video with your friends and families also please subscribe to my channel to motivate me and encourage me to create more interesting videos in the future that being said this is your host prompt engineer signing off for a better tomorrow and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye and have a nice day.